We're going to turn now to other news today. It's a big increase in opioid overdose doses and 10 in only two hours at one Chicago hospital. And we wanted to know why and what happened to those patients. It's a story you'll see only on two CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas joins us live from Loretto Hospital with more Roseanne. Well, Rob, that spike likely due to an extra potent batch of heroin. But in the end of those 10 people rushed here to the emergency room, not one accepted an offer of treatment for their addiction. Probably within about 30 minutes or less, we got the first five overdoses. Crystal Carey was working in the ER Wednesday when ambulances started arriving, bringing in patient after patient overdosing on opioids. And we ended up receiving a total of 10 patients in all in a short amount of two hours. Police were called and a small amount of drugs handed over. From what we gather sometimes, it's what they consider a, a bad batch, you know, um, whether it's laced with something, you know, we really don't know. Loretto Hospital sees several overdoses daily and offers treatment in their medical stabilization recovery unit to each and every one. It was reported to me that we had 10, one stayed, but he did leave. And you have to understand, this is a voluntary, uh, treatment, right. voluntary program. So if they're not ready, they're not going to stay. Where are they today? I would say possibly they may be getting high. In fact, Antoine Kelly, who graduated from the recovery program at Loretto after three stints in rehab, says overdoses like these often send more people looking for the drug. As they say, chasing the dragon. You actually go for what's out there killing someone because you think that that's most potent and it gets you high which is why at Loretto, they're bracing for the next wave. It is getting so bad and so out of hand. And that next wave, meaning users looking for this very same batch of heroin that nearly killed people yesterday and possibly ODing themselves. Now, there have been two overdoses here at Loretto Hospital today, we are told. But in the words of one hospital worker, it's become like shootings in Chicago. We are becoming numb to them. Live outside Loretto Hospital tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay, Roseanne, thank you.